Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be filming another body shop video. I wanted to film this one for a while. It's going to be a review of the cleansers from the body shop that I've personally tried and I will also discuss the ones that I haven't tried and what I know about them or if I don't know anything about them. But I'm basically going to do a video on body shop cleansers. I think I'm going to do more videos like this going into next year where I kind of hone in on specific collections or like facial scrubs or toners or something like that like something where you can compare the two so for example if you are looking for a facial wash then you can watch this video and see which one's best for you or if you're looking for a toner then you can see which one's best for you etc so I just wanted to make these videos just because I have obviously tried a lot of body shop products I have literally owned well over a hundred probably more a lot more i don't know but i've tried a lot of their products and i know a lot about them i did used to do the body shop at home i don't do that anymore i think i will film a video as to why i don't do that anymore at some point but it's a little bit of a tricky subject so i might not but we'll see but i am just going to start this video so first of all i'm just going to start off by reviewing the cleansers that i actually personally like have to hand that I can show you and some of them are empty products some of them are ones well one of them has got product in because that's the one I'm using right now so I'll show you that one first this is the first one this is the drops of light pure clarifying foam wash this is obviously from their drops of light range that they do which is aimed at reducing redness brightening the skin and just overall being something that kind of lights up your skin a little bit more and makes it less red tone it basically says that it's a brightening range not necessarily something that i need to go for my skin tone was a lot more red a few years ago when i had acne but because i have a really good skincare routine now and i use some really good face masks my skin is quite clear now which i'm really happy with so i don't have the redness because my skin's not as sensitive because i don't have the spots if you know what i mean I just wanted to use this as a facial wash just to try it out. It is nice and gentle on the skin. It is more of like a kind of creamy consistency. I won't show it because I just don't like wasting product. But it is more of a creamy consistency. Very gentle. I do really like it. It foams up really easily. Does it brighten my skin? I haven't noticed it brightening my skin. I personally don't necessarily believe in products that say they brighten the skin. I don't know why, I just don't, okay? But, obviously correct me if I'm wrong, I just haven't had any experience with that with this particular range, but maybe it does. But I do like this, it's more gentle than what I would personally like. I do kind of like cleansers where you can really feel the freshness and you just feel like your face is really like revitalized but it is a nice one and I do like it I wouldn't repurchase it because it's not my kind of vibe but some people would love this and I would probably rate this an 8 out of 10. I would probably recommend that though to people that have more sensitive skin or the kind of skin where you don't like those really kind of harsh drying facial washes you like more kind of moisturizing ones. Next up is this one this is the Drops of Youth Gentle Foam Wash Oh my god, a bag just moved and I just literally pooed myself. I'm severely hoping that that is actually a bag and not a person. Then they're watching my video in the background, so enjoy. But anyway, oh, I really hope they're not now I've said that. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is a really nice one. This is a foam wash, so very different to the one I've just shown you where it's more kind of a creamy consistency and then it foams up. This is a watery consistency inside and then you obviously spray it out the bottle and it foams up, foam comes out. I do like foam washes. I personally, you know, I'm a bit iffy with them because I think, oh, did they really do anything? Because it is more of a foam rather than like working it in. But this is so refreshing. I loved how refreshing my skin felt after this. Whenever I wash my face, I want my skin to feel refreshed and clean after I've washed it. So I liked this one for that feeling that it gave. I don't know if it makes my skin youthful because I'm too young for that to prove and also it's the kind of products where how will you know it's gonna work. When it comes to youthful creating sort of products like younger looking skin products, you just don't know if they work necessarily. So I like this for just refreshingness and the smell of it's really nice and yeah, it lasted me a really, really long time. I do personally really like this. Would I repurchase it? Probably not because I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to spend too much on cleansers. I would rather spend my money more on products that really, you know, I know are, you know, essential and good and not necessarily a cleanser. I don't know. Anyway, um, but I would still rate this an 8 out of 10. 
or maybe a nine maybe a nine actually that is a good one i then have one that i don't like so at least we've got one in here that i actually don't like this is the body shop carrot wash it's the energizing face cleanser so i first of all picked this up as my next cleanser because i thought you know what i need another cleanser and i used this for a while and the smell of it like it genuinely smells like carrots and I don't know why I didn't, you know, process in my brain that that is what is going to happen. You know, obviously it's going to smell like carrots because it's a carrot wash. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that when I'm washing my face, I smell carrots. I don't think it's a skincare kind of scented product. You know, I don't really want to be smelling carrots whilst I'm washing my face. Maybe when I'm cooking in the kitchen, but not whilst I'm doing my skincare. So I didn't like that. Also... It didn't lather up as good as some of the other cleansers that they've got in the range. For example, the one I mentioned at the beginning, the Drops of Light one, that foams up really nicely and you can really kind of get into the skin. This one doesn't foam up as good, but it's still, you know, okay. It is meant to be energising. It's meant to give glow to the skin, which is a reason why I kind of purchased it because I really like glowy skin. But if you're gonna do that, just go to the vitamin C range because vitamin C is amazing for glow. So this isn't a needed product. I don't really like it. I would rate this a three out of 10, but if you like it, then that's absolutely fine. This is just like my opinion. But I think the fact that I don't like about this is just the smell and also the fact that it doesn't lather up as well as some of the other ones. Also, I wasn't sure whether to mention this next one because it's kind of slightly different, but this is the Vitamin C Daily Glow Cleansing Polish. So it does have a little bit of a scrub aspect to it, but it isn't necessarily like a full on strong scrub. It's something that you can use daily and you shouldn't really be using an actual like really harsh scrub daily. So this is more of a cleanser in my opinion. This is obviously part of the Vitamin C range, which is my favorite range from the body shop. I wouldn't say this is my favorite product um, in that range. It's probably a mediocre product. I do really like it, but for me, I don't like products that are combined. I like products that's either a cleanser or a scrub and not in between because then it's like, well, when do I use it sort of thing? And what is its purpose? You know, I have my times for washing my face and I have my times for scrubs in my skincare routine. This is like an in-between product where I would just be like, well, I don't know when to use it sort of thing. But maybe it's good if you just like to have a gentle exfoliation every single time you wash your face i personally don't want to exfoliate at all every single day like i have specific times for that i exfoliate once a week so for me it's not really kind of fitting within my routine but if you like vitamin c if you like glowy skin and if you are somebody that does like a little bit of a scrub every day just to kind of get rid of dead skin cells etc then you'll really like this one so yeah it's not harsh it is quite gentle and i do really like it but for me personally it's not like my cup of tea in terms of the fact that it's combined products and i would probably rate this a six or seven out of ten because i don't use it but for somebody that would use it it would be an eight point five out of ten so that's everything that I can physically show you that I actually have to hand. I'm now gonna look on their website and I'm just gonna go through a few things that I may have tried that I haven't got with me or discuss things that I haven't tried, etc. or people have tried. They do have on here their CBD soothing oil balm cleansing mask, which is new. So I haven't tried that. I'm budgeting my money at the minute. I'm not wasting it on anything. Well, I say that I'm not trying not to waste it on anything. So I'm not gonna get that. But I would like to try it, but I'm not going to get it. But it is like a balm cleansing mask, it says, which I'm kind of confused by. Is it like an actual mask? Like, do you put it on your face, take it off like you would a mask? Or do you use it to remove makeup or to cleanse your face? Like, products like that confuse me greatly. So if you know about that, please let me know. But probably not something that I'm going to buy. Then we have the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. That's a tea tree wash. I haven't used that one because I don't need the tea tree products as much. I have and sell my own tea tree oil and I sell it on eBay and Etsy and that's what I use for my skin and that's what I use pure tea tree oil. That's it. I don't need any other products containing tea tree oil when I've got that because that's good enough on its own. I just dab it onto individual spots. So for me, I don't need products like that, but it is from what I've heard from people that have tried it, it is um, a good facial wash if you do have a few spots. It's not gonna cure your acne if you've got acne, but it is a good cleanser to make your skin feel really nice and refreshed and you know overall quite clean and a nice kind of smell to it. However, it's not something for me because I kind of like my skin to be a little bit more glowy because I just don't need the tea tree products basically um, anymore. So 
there we go but it would be good if you like the kind of clean feel we've got the seaweed cleansing gel wash this is something that i've not tried i have tried other products from the seaweed range like a toner a moisturizer a scrub excellent scrub from that range and the smell i love the smell of the seaweed range it smells so so nice my mum really likes it as well haven't tried the facial wash and that is something that i actually might try in the future i can imagine though because it is for oily skin which i do have but because it's for oily skin it will be drying i know that and i found that with the toner that i tried to use recently because obviously it is kind of getting into the colder months of the year i i you know my skin actually started getting a little bit dry because it's the colder months and because I started using that toner. So I ju did stop using that toner for a bit and I'm using my British Rose Gel one, which is very hydrating. So I don't like the dryness that that can give. So maybe that isn't one for me, but I don't mind having a facial wash that's a little bit more drying because I kind of like that in a way because my face then feels clean because then I just go and load on loads of hydrating products so it literally doesn't make a difference. But when it comes to the toner that I did use, that did make my skin a little bit dry. Okay, we also have the Aloe Calming Foam Wash, which is more for sensitive skin. So if you've got sensitive skin, go for that one. If you react to products, that's one that's really gonna not react with your skin unless you have really 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 sensitive skin so that's part of the kind of sensitive sensitive skin range i'm not going to buy that i'm never going to buy that because i don't have sensitive skin i like products that really do something and i don't suffer from sensitive skin so i don't need that so i'm not going to use that because it would be a little bit pointless for me there's the vitamin e gentle facial wash i think they've got the cream cleanser and the gentle facial wash and the First of all, the facial wash is more of like a kind of gel consistency where you like lather it up onto your skin. I haven't tried this one, but I know my friend Emma has tried it and I think she much prefers the cream cleanser. So Emma, if you're watching, please let us know. But I think she prefers the creamy consistency one, which is in the bottle, which I also had that one and I really like that one. That is quite nice. It's not my typical favourite in terms of the fact that I usually prefer ones that are more kind of cleansing whereas this one is a little bit more softening and hydrating and it does leave your skin feeling so so soft. I haven't used it in ages but I do remember really liking how like soft your skin feels after. So if you're the kind of person that likes hydration, you like soft skin, then go for that one and it is something that maybe I would purchase in the future so I'm not gonna you know uh, cross that one out but I would probably put that at an 8 or 9 out of 10 that is a nice one actually right I think we're nearly approaching the end if I've missed any out it is purely because it's not on the website oh they've also got an aloe calming cream cleanser as well so I can imagine that that's also quite hydrating as well and I have obviously haven't tried that so they've got the vitamin e cream cleanser that Emma likes I think and then they've got the aloe cream cleanser so that's good the vitamin E ones for dehydrated skin, you want to kind of add hydration, whereas the aloe ones just for sensitive skin. They do also have the Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Cleansing Oil in Gel, which is for skin that is, again, dehydrated because it's got those oils in it. I've got oily skin. That's probably going to make my skin really oily. I don't want that. You know, I'm all here for glowy products, but not, you know, oil producing products. Do you know what I mean? So that's probably not for me. But if you have like dry skin or anything, that might be quite nice. And I don't know if it's on here, but there is another product. And it's basically a, I think it's like a charcoal wash. I'm not sure what the exact name is, but it is a charcoal wash, I think. I'll try and put it on the screen. And I... I haven't tried it, but I really want to. I know that's going to be something that I love. I think it's more targeted to kind of oilier skin and like combination to oily skin because of the ingredients that I've got in it. I, it's got in it, I'm just assuming. And I do really want to try that at some point, maybe as my next cleanser, because that's the kind of vibe of cleanser that I go for. Something that, you know, is quite, you know, getting into the skin really deep in the pores, removing impurities, really cleansing the skin feels really kind of not necessarily drying in a way but kind of just like it's drawing stuff out and just really refreshing and clean that's the vibe that i like so maybe that's something for me to try in the future but i haven't tried it so if you've tried any of these cleansers let me know this is all of the cleansers that i can see that's on their website that they've got on their website maybe they do sell others that they've not actually shown on the specific page that i'm looking at but this is the ones that i've seen and my review of the ones that i've tried i think my favorite one 
is I think it's a toss up between two. I do really like the vitamin E cream cleanser for when I want hydrated soft skin. But another one that I did really like is this Drops of Youth one. That was a really, really nice one as well, actually. So worst one by an absolute country mile is the carrot wash. So would not recommend, but obviously, you know, you do you, whatever you wanna use, it's fair enough. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Please leave any comments or reviews of any kind of cleanser that you might have tried from the body shop and your opinions on them. Again, they might be different to mine, but this is just my experience. So hopefully it was helpful if you really don't know which one to go for and now you kind of do, for example, for specific skin types or something and based on my experience with the products. But again, like I said, it is my experience. My skin type is oily, so it's not actually as oily as it used to be because I've got a really good skincare routine that kind of makes my skin glowy, but not oily if you know what I mean. So there, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have got more body shop videos coming, even through December when I do my Christmas videos, but mainly next year I'll have some really, really um, good ones, hopefully, and reviews and things. So thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe for more body shop videos and just videos in general, and hope you have a good day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!